My name's Mariah Luamanu, and I have gone to River of Life for four years. I didn't grow up going to church. Um, the conversations at home that we had about God were really short and sweet. Um, you know, and I kind of started pursuing God on my own as a teenager. Um, I had um, kind of heard him speak to me, so I just um, found a church and started going when I could drive on my own and developed a relationship with him. I met my husband when I was about 20 and we uh, would go to his church. He was raised Catholic and then we would go to my church and back and forth until we had our first daughter um, and then we just didn't want to put her in childcare. Um, so we kind of quit going to church. And at that point I um, got really interested in like conspiracy theories and um, aliens and kind of went down this rabbit hole. Um, on YouTube videos of stuff that really had me convinced that Jesus was not the son of God. Um, the Bible wasn't true and it was kind of more like Jesus was just like the same thing as Buddha or some other teacher. I started collecting crystals mostly because they were really pretty and uh, quickly kind of became obsessed with them just because I liked having them all over my house. Um, and so that turned into me trying to practice magic with them. It was never really anything like I was trying to do anything evil or hurt anybody. It was more just like impatient or like I wanted something now or I wanted to help somebody. I would kind of use like the law of attraction um, to get things or manifest things. Um, got into like astrology, um, angel communication, um, numerology. Um, some of these things Christians still do and think are okay and all of that's really just rooted in an evil <laughs> origins. So I had somebody send me a Bible verse that kind of noticed um, what was going on and uh, it was about being an abomination to the Lord and I kind of just ignored it out of pride and then it started to really bug me. So I took all the crystals and everything and kind of just put them in a closet to see if I would feel better. Um, and I felt kind of a weight lifted, um, but it wasn't like I didn't replace it with anything else. There's a verse in Matthew that talks about the unclean spirit and how it leaves and comes back with seven more evil than itself. And I just feel like that's kind of what happened next. Suddenly I had like wands. Um, I was paying to see psychics. Um, I was believed I was psychic. I was trying to do psychic things. Um, I had wanted to become like a Reiki healer to do like chakra work on people. And um, all of that continued until uh, January of 2017. My husband um, hurt his foot playing sports. Um, so I had, was gonna do a, like a ritual or a prayer or spell or whatever you wanna call it on him to heal him. And um, I had everything lined up. I had crystals and sage burning and music playing. And I just had this feeling like I needed to get a Bible. I go get my Bible, this big white Bible that my mom um, gave me with a picture of Jesus on it. And um, I, put my hand on the Bible and a hand on the foot and I close my eyes and get ready to, to speak and it just comes out in tongues. Um, so I'm praying in tongues and I had done that as a teenager so I kind of knew what that was about and um, towards the end of it, I felt really nervous to like open my eyes. And so um, when I get ready to open my eyes and I look around at everything and um, it just felt like everything that was so beautiful and like mesmerizing before just looked so ugly and hideous and um, the smell like of the sage just like made me want to throw up. I kind of felt like I was standing there like in the corner of the room looking at myself from the outside and I felt like Jesus was like standing behind me like with his arm over my shoulder kind of bracing me. Um, and my husband looked really freaked out and he asked if I was talking to the angels because I had always talked about the angels. So um, I said, no, I'm talking to Jesus and he's here now, so you should keep your head bowed. And um, I just feel like the demons kind of fled at that moment and um, I had a blindfold just lifted. In 2 Corinthians, it talks about Satan masquerading as an angel of light and that's exactly what was going on. And so I just saw everything for what it was. So I told my husband that we needed to get everything out of the house like right away. So we bagged up like thousands of dollars worth of crystals and books and um, took it out to the curb. It was like 20 below. Um, if I could have burned it, I would have burned it. 
Suddenly, like my relationship with Jesus that I had just kind of came flooding back to me. And I remembered like who he was and that the Bible was true. And um, it just all was cemented like in my brain suddenly. And um, so we got right back into church and I found like Christian counseling at church. Um, we got baptized together. I read the Bible like cover to cover in like six months and I just did not want to miss anything. Things did get kind of like a little hard before they got easier. Um, I kind of felt like Satan was pestering me. Um, I kind of felt like our house was haunted for a little bit. And so I had like people from our church come and pray over our house um, and pray over our family. And then that, that went away. Um, but you know, the media just tries to glorify witchcraft and it's all targeted at our kids um, with things like Harry Potter and Disney movies. And some of it's like right in your face and some of it is hidden. Um, but it's just important to like realize that Satan is real and he's actively trying to lead us away from God. I have witnessed the power of God and the forgiveness of God. And um, it's just taught me how to forgive other people and how to keep Jesus and the Bible in their rightful place.